everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Pelvic Health and Fitness Podcast. If you're listening to this when it drops, it is Monday, January 15th, 2024. Happy New Year. The hilarious thing is, is I am recording this episode on Thursday, November 16th, 2023. So I am speaking to myself in the future. (laughs) If any of you have a podcast, you know how funny this all is. And I'm just rolling with it. Um, I recorded an episode, you know, that released just before Christmas, sharing with you six ways to stay healthy over the holidays. Um, I recorded that episode and I'm recording this episode on the same day. Um, Just being totally transparent with you. This is sometimes how it works in the podcast world. I have some time right now in my schedule to work on these recordings And truthfully, I want to just have some downtime and relaxation during the holidays. And so that is why I'm recording both of these today. And so again, if you're listening to this as it airs, Happy New Year. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season with your family and friends. And maybe you were able to listen to that episode that dropped just before Christmas. And maybe we're able to take some of my advice that I shared in that episode. So along those same lines, I'm going to start off this new year, this new year of our podcast with just a nice, short, quick episode. And I'm going to be sharing eight body affirmations as we head into a new year, into 2024. So I shared on that last episode, um, maybe during the holidays is a great time And maybe as we head into the new year, this might be a wonderful time to start just having a deeper look at your relationship with your body, your relationship with food and exercise. Um, I will say I come into this conversation from a a place of privilege, um, with thin privilege. I'm a white female. And so I, I look sort of that stereotypical way that society expects a woman to look in many ways. So I, you know, say all this with, from that place of privilege, acknowledging that some of the, that some of these might be easier for me to follow than others. However, I think there's still growth to be found in all of us. So just take that with a grain of salt as you listen to these body affirmations and start to just maybe consider working on improving your relationship with food, with exercise, with your body as you head into the new year. I know this is a time when many of us so sort of fall prey to, you know, crash diets, fad diets, ways to sort of ditch that holiday weight that maybe you have gained over the the time that you were eating maybe more than you normally do or eating different foods than maybe you uh, don't normally eat and focus on this time of like getting back on track, quote unquote, with your exercise routine. And I just want to say, first of all, there's, you know, nothing inherently wrong with that, but I think it's just sort of a trap we fall into where we binge eat all holidays and then we get back on track, quote unquote, in the new year, we start off full steam ahead. We like dive headfirst into a diet and exercise and many of us fall off. So it's that like known fall off in the gym where people just stop going. So here's my challenge for all of you to maybe re-examine that and maybe instead of, you know, forcing ourselves to dive right back into dieting and like a fitness program that we're not going to stick with, um, just looking at a more uh, realistic way of doing it in 2024. So I, with all of this, I would say before I get into the affirmations, um, getting support and having support along this journey of improving your relationship with food, exercise, and your body is essential. So if you have the means, highly recommend talking to a therapist, highly recommend working with a non-diet dietitian. I can send you some names for that. And highly recommend if you are interested in getting back into a fitness program, making sure if this is important to you, making sure that it is Um, non-diet focused and doesn't have a focus on weight loss. Um, I would love to work with you if that is you and you're looking for that fitness program that has that focus, um, that is strong at home. So if you're interested in looking into strong at home, 
um, reach out to me and I'd love to chat about that. Okay, so let's get into these body affirmations. So I'm just going to read them, just kind of pause in between. If you want to repeat them back to yourself, take that time to do that. Um, if you want to write them down, if you have a journal to refer back to, recommend that. I'm going to put them all in the show notes too, so you can always just copy and paste them from there as well. So yeah, I'm just going to read them nice and slow, let them sink in, let them register, go back to them when you need to. Okay, so number one, my body is strong. My body is resilient. My body is capable of amazing things. Number two, my body is not broken, nor does it need fixing. My body has a built-in ability to heal. Number three, my body is supposed to change. Number four, I am not defined by my fitness level. I am always worthy of rest. Number five, I am not defined by the size of my body. My body is worthy at any size. Number six, my body size and shape is not an indicator of my health status. Number seven, I will learn to exercise from a place of appreciation and respect for my body instead of disdain and punishment. And number eight, healing my relationship with exercise and my body starts with gratitude. Thank you, body, for all that you do for me today and every day. Amazing. Good job, everyone. I hope you found those helpful. Again, just a super short, quick episode. As we head into 2024, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone for listening to this podcast and sharing it with friends and sharing with me on Instagram how it's helping you. I would love to hear from you as we head into this new year. I'm going to keep going with this podcast and have some amazing guests lined up already for this new year. Um, yeah, again, just my ask for you all is just to tune into your own needs as we head into this new year. Try to decide what is going to be important to you to work on in this new year and reach out to folks for support if you have the means. Thank you again for listening and have a great day.